All right, folks. I have been fishing all day Saturday and all day Sunday without a single, not even a slightest bite. It's finally 10 minutes before I have to leave on Sunday, the second day, and I finally hooked into a fish. It looks like a largemouth, but no, it's a pickerel. It's the only fish I've caught in two days straight. I went walleye fishing yesterday. It was absolutely terrible. Never even seen a fish. It's almost like the fish don't even exist anymore. You, you look around, you don't see anything swimming. Uh, I have a feeling it had to do with the barometer. And uh, it's really turned them off. Today it was 60 degrees and I just couldn't help myself. I said, I got to get out there and at least try. And I'll tell you what, I have not even had a nibble in two days. It's been that bad. Uh, finally, it's 4.20 in the afternoon. I was going to leave at 4.30. And I finally caught a little pickerel, not big by any means, about 13, 14 inches. And uh, got him on a crappie crankbait. Yesterday I was at the block hole in the caster trying for walleye and didn't get a single fish, not even a spotted bass or nothing. It was just absolutely horrible. All the time I, and effort I put into it was what made it bad because I wasted $40 in gas, eating out, minnows, and everything else that goes along with a hour and a half drive. So, and this sucker is hard to get. And he's off. All right. Finally, boy, it has been one tough two days. One fish. Today is a good day. And this is why behind me you finally see my first trolling motor. I got the smallest Minn Kota they sell, just a little 30 amp, 30 inch. And I bought me a nice 115 amp hour battery with a three year warranty. Um, it, so it can run three and a half hours of high, of being in full speed. Uh, the motor itself has five forward speeds and three reverse speeds. So I can get to my holes quicker. I'm flying to get to the, the good walleye holes. It's also an overcast day. It was supposed to rain all day and then it just dropped to zero all of a sudden the, for, until uh, two o'clock and it finally has a 10% chance. So it's overcast the entire day. The water clarity is green. Uh, hasn't rained in a while really. And it's really cold and brisk out. It's only about 30 degrees. It is February the 10th and I am still got my heart set on landing that trophy walleye. I just basically just went and blew $300 to make it more uh, easier to do. So I'm, I'm kind of learning how to steer this thing. And uh, boy, and, and I'm only using it in, in first gear is really all I need. This thing just flies. It's almost, it's like three people paddling at full speed all the time. It's really neat. Really neat. So I think today's gonna be a good day, folks. I got four different poles rigged up. Got a bucktail jig on this one, a brown twister tail on this one, a moxie grub on this one, and a glow in the dark crappie magnet with a one ounce jig head. I also bought some Wally deep divers. I got four different deep divers. I got four inch shiners with me. Um, so I got a lot of different, I got super flukes, the five inch ones, and I also got some four inch uh, fluke swim baits. So I have a lot of different things I can throw at them today. A lot of variety uh, with me having the four poles rigged up at all times. Even when I get hung up, I'm gonna tie whatever I had on it right back on it. That way I can change it up in the split of a second. I can just change whatever I'm doing and uh, throw something different at them. I 
thought it was a big wall, but it is a spotted bass, and it is big. My goodness. Wow. Big for a winter spotted bass. Nice one. <sighs> Caught him on a fluke swim bait, or Z-Man swim bait. Man, that is a beautiful spotted bass. Oh yeah, look at that. One ounce jig head and a silver and white paddle tail four inch swim bait. What a nice spotted bass. Wow. Yes. I'm a kind of master, but hey, it's a fish. That's all that matters. I've had three light walleye bites and they were just ticks where they didn't hook themselves unfortunately but it's a good sign right there oh it's a big car whoa not what i thought it was holy crap it was about a 10 